Ciao, io sono Andrea. Io parlo italiano benissimo. Eh? We have Saddam Hussein, Gorbachev, George Bush, Osama Bin Laden. He came here a long time ago mm -hmm. and he found a lot of artifacts. Is this uh, the oldest town reported in Kenya? Or, uh... So guys, we are in Gedi near uh, Vatamu, near uh, Malindi, and here we do have Andrew. Yeah, I'm the Khmer tour guide, so <laughs> welcome to Gedi Ruin. Welcome to the uh, vlog, Andrew. It's gonna show us around, it's gonna explain us a couple of things. Yeah, yeah. And I'm super grateful for that. Thank you so much. Welcome, bro. Oh, we already see a monkey yeah. hiding. The, the monkeys are very friendly. They, really? They are civilized and well-educated. Wow. They are not the kind of monkeys that will steal your phone or camera. This is the first time I see educated monkeys. These monkeys are territorial. Each family has its own territory with one dominant male in each family. Mm -hmm. Here, our monkeys have got names. We have Saddam Hussein. Really? We have Gorbachev, George Bush, <laughs> Osama Bin Laden, do you have Gaddafi. Put, do you have Putin too? I need yeah, to find... We have Putin. Yeah, we have Putin. Okay. Also, we have Berlusconi. Close. Who is this one? This one, not all the monkeys have got names. Okay, no, not, not, not all. all of them. Yeah. So here, here we have some. another one. Come on. Wow. If I try to offer something, hey, come on, guys. Come on, guys. He's, he's open, checking if there is any food. Really? Yeah. Nice. And mm. their hands are very soft. Very soft. Very hand. soft hand. Yeah. yeah. That's they really... don't scratch, they don't bite anyone. They are mm -hmm. used to people. Uh, well, what did you find? <laughs> there is nothing. Hello there. <laughs> oh, I Can see. I pass it to you? It's your friend. They are not. Really? <laughs> come here, come here. Where do you oh, go? Oh, don't like, cover the but camera. They don't steal anything. They just, they wonder what this is. You want to see what it is? Gosh, can you make me? Ah. Video. No, no, don't bite it. Here. Uh, sorry. What is happening? <laughs> oh, oh. You know, today is my birthday. Oh, it's a birthday? <laughs> yes. <Auguri>. Grazie mille. <laughs> Guys, I, we didn't know that. He actually saw at least four of my videos. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> I did not see you. Oh, I'm so delighted. It's a, such a great honor and pleasure that I've it's met you. I, I, I've met you. <laughs> Face. Thank you so much. No, this is a new video. You yeah, see? <laughs> we're gonna do some great thing with this guy. Santa Believe Santa. in your dreams. Man. Always, always. Jumbo. Jumbo. Yeah. All, of them. all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so the monkeys are all over. And apart from the monkeys, we have other small animals like Dick Dick, Sunni, Bushbucks, mm -hmm. Squirrel, Mongoose, uh, different species of birds, snakes and butterflies. Oh, all over. Okay, okay. So here there is a tomb. These are the <laughs> ruins, of, actually. Where well, you can see the Arabic writings on the tombstone. Okay, okay. Somewhere at the oh, corner. Okay, you tried to grab oh, my. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so somewhere at the corner that was found this Islamic date 802 after Hijra. Oh, okay, after okay. Hijra refers to the immigration prophet mm -hmm. Muhammad from Mecca to Medina. This is the Christian calendar and this is the Islamic calendar. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, now, okay. During excavations mm -hmm. here they found skeletons, human skeletons, mm -hmm. and that's how they knew that there was a tomb. Okay, now, okay. The archaeologist was warned not to take away the skeletons. Mm -hmm. That means, as we are speaking here today, they're still here. <laughs> Look, who oh, jumped wow, while we are speaking back. here. <laughs> hey, you want to hear the story about Ged as well? Yeah, <laughs> you probably heard it many, many times. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be a guide one of these days. Okay, <laughs> so he's coming with us today. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna take around with a blogger. <laughs> <laughs> when we talk of Gede ruins, we are referring to the remains of an Arab African town. Gede was a Swahili town, and this town is believed to have been founded as early as 12th century. Wow. Later, in the 17th century, Gede was completely deserted due to water problems, diseases, and fighting. This city was surrounded by two perimeter walls, the inner, wall and the outer wall whereby all rich people lived in the inner part middle class between the walls while peasants lived outside mm -hmm. and by the time the city was at its peak its population is estimated to have been between 2500 and 3000 people while its size was 45 acres at oh. the moment most part of it is covered by the forest this forest is used as a research center as well as a site for bird watching okay 
The other people were Muslims. Who said so? Archaeological evidence shows eight mosques inside the city. After the city was abandoned in the early 17th century, local people around here developed a psychological fear that Gedi was haunted by ghosts. Mm -hmm. Everybody was afraid of coming here. And that's the main reason why Mother Nature took over, houses started collapsing. Okay. Even today, there are still many local people mm -hmm. who believe Gedi is full of ghosts. Now, the first white man to visit Gedi, who also brought this place to public attention, came here in the year 1884. A famous explorer called Sir John Cook. Later, in 1927, the site was gazetted as a historical monument of Kenya, and that's when people started to come and visit. That made public works department to come here and do restoration work, cementing some of those together in 1939. Wow. Now, during that period, the Second World War had just started. The British were somehow busy fighting, therefore, not much restoration work was done. We still have a lot of ruins hidden in the forest, destroyed by the trees. We can't see. Yeah? Can't just see. After restoration work, an archaeologist called James Kirkman came here to excavate in 1948. He worked here for about 10 years. So many objects were found, some of which we're going to see in the museum later after the walk inside the ruins. Okay. Other objects were taken to Mombasa for Jesus. Now, these are female boba trees. As mm -hmm. you see, they have fruits. Pollination in boba trees take place at night. Flowers of boba naturally open at night okay. and then bush babies. Mm -hmm. and bats being active at night mm -hmm. and they move from one tree to another okay to so another. it's the they bats pollinate. that uh, they they bring they bring the, from the, the male to, to the female to the female bats and the bush baby you know bush baby it's small, like a monkey with the big eyes ah, and at another yeah. Yeah. in 2020 everybody complains about bats but here bats they make these trees possible yeah. <laughs> <laughs> italian joke so here <laughs> let me just show this side it's another tomb an important person was buried here mm -hmm. look at uh, serpent look at small snake eh? where, green, where is this on, on the pillar a green snake that's called grass snake. Oh, yeah, you can see the snake. Venomous. So we have a tomb of a very important person. Super nice. Look at all the ruins. Very few people know about this place. I think just Italians, because uh, Italians, they occupy yeah, Malinda. In Malinda and Watam, a lot of Italians. Yes, yes. They are very famous and uh, they visit this place so much. And over there was a mosque. That okay, was a mosque. this the is one of the mosques. Constructed around 15th century. Yes. Outside, there is a water well. Oh. Not very deep, just deep enough. Please deep take enough. off your glasses. If anything falls down, that will be the end. Wow. I mean, uh, it's not deep enough, it's deep, deep. <laughs> oh, there are some which are deeper than this one. Michael, you understand that Muslims normally wash in a ritual manner before yes, praying. Yes, yes, Therefore, yes, people used to draw water from the well using mm -hmm. a rope and a container. Yes. They'll pour water on this track mm -hmm. here. The water would flow by this canal and through the small so hole. From here will flow over here. The cistern. Yes. And then they will do ablution so, from the side. So 600 years ago they had this amazing system. Yeah, exactly. Now, the most amazing part is after ablution, mm -hmm. they took the dirty water and poured it in the small hole. Okay. So now, that dirt water would filter through the sand and the porous coral, then get back to the well clean. Mm -hmm. Water recycling. Ingenious. Yes, Gorbachev. We have Gorbachev behind us. This is his territory. Hi, Gorbachev. You are the king here. He's ever looking at us. Not sure what is my yeah, camera. Yeah. <laughs> Gorbachev. You think that's oh. oh. You found the camera, Gorbachev. Now on the mosque, there were three doors. The Imam used the first door, okay. the religious, religious leader. Okay. Second door for the men, and the third door for women. You see pilasters with rectangular niches on the yeah, wall. Yes. Inside, they used to put the lights, okay. yeah, the lamp. These steps are called mimbar. Okay. This is where the imam or somebody will come mm -hmm. here to preach. Okay. Now, after the sermon, he will come down and go inside the Qibla. Muslims pray facing Mecca. And from here, Mecca is towards north. There were no microphones. Mm -hmm. But listen to this. Yolo, 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 yolo. Acoustic. This is so beautiful. And, and imagine when the mosque was complete with the roof, it would be even louder. So behind there, women would hear clearly. So inside the ruin, the forest, we still have a lot of ruins like that. You see? Mm -hmm. The town extends very far on this side. I, I have a question. Yes, please. Is this uh, the oldest town reported in Kenya or uh, is there any older town than... Well, along the... Kenyan coast, mm -hmm. there are over 120 
all Swahili city settlements, okay, just okay. like Gedi, mm -hmm. from Lamu all the way to the south of Mombasa. Okay, okay. Now Gedi is one of the largest, oldest, mm -hmm. very famous and well preserved. If you look at this street today, mm -hmm. it's very narrow. Yeah. But hundreds of years ago, yes. this was the main street. No car, mm -hmm. no tuk-tuk, mm -hmm. only walking. So this was enough. Yeah, plus people, they were smaller under the Yeah, years, yeah, yeah, not as today. Yeah. The wall was thick and mm -hmm. high. Yeah. Then closed by another wall that was thick and high. Here, there will be shadow and okay. it will be cool even during the daytime, walking in the street. You have an idea how much I love such stuff. Uh, yeah. I, I love history. Uh, the history videos, they do not make views. Uh -huh. So if you like this video, click the like button, share it with your friends. Sure. Because uh, history must be shared and we, learn, uh, we have to learn from it. Yeah, exactly. These people were civilized. Mm -hmm. They are not the kind of guys who will go to the bush to answer biological functions. Okay. They had toilets. Okay, okay. So there was a wall here, mm -hmm. divided this part in two. One will come here to do short dropping, okay. and here one will come to do long dropping. Mm -hmm. So Su and Pupu. Here, there will be there was a, a U-shaped funnel. Okay. Servants would bring water and pour it on the funnel. Mm -hmm. The water will go inside. Then the boss is here soaking himself. When you come here, even mm -hmm. at midday, outside it will be very hot. But here it's always cool, mm -hmm. as if this room is air conditioned. Mm -hmm. The reason the wall is thick and the coral itself is porous. Okay. Air passes through, no concentration of heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This tree is so smooth and slippery. Mm -hmm. In our forest, we have hundreds of monkeys and snakes. None can go up. Local people cut this tree mm -hmm. to make the canoe. Okay, okay. Canoe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the most slippery tree I've ever touched. Wow. Well, here's the royal palace, which was the largest building inside the city. This is the main gate of his villa, probably. Yeah. yeah. So immediately you went through the main entrance, you come to the reception court, waiting oh. bay. And then, as I explained to you, when we are at the mosque, there they put dirty water that would filter and go back to the well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The throne was here. Royal toilet. Now the boss will go there for, mm -hmm. for long dropping and short dropping. Okay. But sometimes, who knows? The smell will drill the reception through the openings. Okay. But no one will complain because Sultan's Bopo smell of perfume. So if you complain, problem. <laughs> wow. It's like the president uh, food. The spices mm -hmm. are not from Mombasa, Congo, mm -hmm. where they come from Europe. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the food must be nice, and his Bopo will be smelling nice. Cologne <laughs> from Paris. Also, when he was there, he could hear everything people are discussing in the reception. Oh, so I will spend lots of time in the toilet, uh, oh. waiting for people to say something bad about me. <laughs> Instead of going for long dropping, he goes for eaves dropping. Yeah. If I found guilty, head dropping, 3D. This is the tribunal, kind of. Mm -hmm. The parliament. Affairs of the town will be discussed here. Matters of justice will be conducted here. Now, my friend, we are outside the palace mm -hmm. here. So yeah. you can see how big the that building was from yeah. that corner to the other yeah, stretching all the way around huge even yes. for today's standards mm -hmm. this is a very big house yeah during excavations yeah. in that room they found money from china in the other room they found a glass bead from venice if further ahead there's another room they found a pair of scissors from spain we shall see that mm -hmm. in that place also an iron lamp from india this is evidence of trade that's fantastic so here another street eh, going this side via roma via roma uh, Oh. The 20th September on the other side. <laughs> Long time ago, there were kind of shells mm -hmm. which were used like money. These were not the kind of shells you will find in Watamu or mm -hmm. Malindi. No. There were special curry shells from the Maldives Islands. Oh, okay. They're from far, not easy to get. Yeah. They're unique and special, also not easy to counterfeit. Mm -hmm. So this, they, they were found here and this is suspected to have been the bank of the city. But okay. not, not Chess Bank or Imperial Bank. Mm -hmm. How many languages do you speak? Four, three and all. Okay, English, Italian. Uh, my mom is from Poland, so ah, I speak so Polish, Polish. And I speak some Spanish. Yeah. So I've been learning something interesting off camera. When the archaeologist uh, Karkman came here in around 1948, yeah. his grandfather was the supervisor here working at uh, the excavation of all this place. Yeah, exactly. So, so Andrew feels super attached. Yeah, I'm attached and linked to this place. That's amazing. Because my grandfather was here and me, the grandson, I'm also here. The original name of this place was not Gedi. It mm. was Kilimani. Kilimani. Kilimani, on a hill. Okay. Yeah. Later the name changed 
around 17th century. A group of the Gala people, who originated from Somalia and Ethiopia, mm -hmm. was on a southward movement looking for water and food for the animals okay. because they're nomadic. Mm -hmm. When they reached this region, they found this place to be conducive for them. They decided to settle down. But instead of the Somali people living harmoniously and in peace with Kilimani people, mm -hmm. they came attacking. Now, Kilimani people fled. The Somalis went behind, and later they called this city Gedi. Okay. Gedi is a Somali word. It means movement. Also, it means precious. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, Gedi is used as a name of a person. We still have many Somali people today called Gedi. So when did the Somali left? Around which Ar year? Early 17th century. Seven, early 17th century. Early 17th century. Okay. Yeah. So guys, yeah, uh, thank you so much to Andrew for uh, showing me around. Uh, Thank you also for watching my videos without knowing oh, me. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I, like four of them, I've watched th these videos. Well, they're, without they're... knowing it's you. Now I'm happy I've seen you in person. <laughs> and I'll keep watching. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, like, and then and, comment. Uh, if you come to the Getty Ruins, ask for Andrew. Yeah. Look how awesome he is. My gosh. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> keep reading and believe in your dreams. Uh, ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Arvederci.